what up what up ladies and gentlemen welcome to trendlands trader this is the youtube channel where we do daily analysis uh of nasdaq and gold ladies and gentlemen my name is offense and allow me to take this time and welcome you all ladies and gentlemen you are welcome do not hesitate to communicate with us on the comments down below and please do follow and like also don't forget to communicate with us on our social media as the links of my social media handles are on the links down below please do check out so that we can have a nice community on the social medias ladies and gentlemen this is the nasdaq 100 let's focus on our charts as you can see i'm on nasdaq 100 uh, daily time frame so we're gonna start by looking at our price and see where it's heading since well we are having this overall uh channel or trend you can see that the price has been uh, pushing towards the downside uh for a while you can see the price presented this lower low this is our lower low this is our lower high let me clean the board so you can see this is our lower high and our lower low now the price is presenting this level i believe that we still gonna have uh some of uh consolidation or we're gonna notice uh consolidation structure around this level or the price can present us with um corrective what you call corrective uh trend or corrective move towards the upside so ladies and gentlemen this is what i want you to understand again this is our daily time frame if we have to use the fibonacci to confirm that our price is at the level that it might respect let's put our fibonacci from the lowest and reach the highest of our price let me zoom in so that you can see something that i want you guys to notice my microphone is a little bit um, far i guess i hope the audio is uh, is clear you can hear me loud and clear i hope you guys can hear me loud and clear so this is our fibonacci instrument that i want you guys to notice remember yesterday i was uh or on the previous video i used the uh, fibonacci trying to explain how does the price move on the fibonacci instrument so this is what i want you guys to be aware of uh you place your fibonacci on your lowest point and push it towards the highest point usually on fibonacci the price will make the 10 or you will have that turning point around that 50 percent if the price is around 30 there are less chances for the price to push towards the upside if you are expecting or you are looking out for the pullback usually the pullback happens around the the possible pullback that we can say this confirms that the price is around the 50 uh, percent or the 0 0.5 if you use the numbers you can see that the price is pushing or is about to push towards the upside but remember eh, this is um we are not the market movers and the price can decide whether it moves towards any direction that it wants to move towards so as yesterday i was looking for for the buying position because the price was presenting a what you call bullish flag pattern so i was hoping the price was gonna break this area or at this level so that we can have uh something like this or witness our price pushing towards the upside but one thing i can tell you i'm not the market mover i'm just a retail trader you can see the price broke from the bottom and now is pushing or it seems like it's gonna present that uh, bearish movement towards the downside this is a daily time frame let's move close to the price uh to the price action with the lower time frame let's push to the four hourly time frame so that we can understand how is the price moving there are so many indicators that i'm using so 
I want you guys to understand that you can still use any indicator that you like or you can don't try to confuse yourself because I know man uh, traders most of the time they get confused by this uh, indicators that we are uh, we always use or uh, you'll find people using 300 and something <laughs> anyway i'm here let's come back ladies and gentlemen you can see that the price you presented this uh bearish um trend towards the yeah the bearish trend and our price managed to break at this uh, area the price presented the consolidation up until it broke our consolidation uh, structure and it pushed towards the downside now we are witnessing a retest let me zoom in so that we can be able to clarify or get a great idea you can see our consolidation was broken yesterday and remember each and every breakout we must expect um, a retest as you can see the price broke this um, a flag pattern that we were expecting this is our flag pattern the price broke it yesterday around uh the afternoon new york time frame actually it was around afternoon uh, in just before 5 p.m the price broke and pushed towards the downside so we are expecting for the retest we could see the price uh, consolidating just a few times before we expect it to sell towards the previous um, this level towards the previous level I believe the price might respect this level uh, let me use our horizontal so that you can see clearly i believe our price could respect this level as you can see previously the price presented uh what you call the price presented this resistance around this level before it was broken we had a retest but the price didn't come towards the level but i think the price can present a bearish flag and break it to come and retest our level before we have that uh what we call before we have our bullish trend so ladies and gentlemen this is our nasdaq 100 one thing that i can tell you i predict at the moment this is my opinion please do not uh, make or take this as a um, confirmed signal this is my uh, my my opinion and i'm not a financial advisor please be warned uh that's my disclaimer ne? please be warned this is what i'm expecting or this is what i'm looking out for ladies and gentlemen you can see that the price is presenting um bearish flag we could have something like this during the opening session i hope you guys will use proper risk management and ladies and gentlemen those who haven't subscribed to our channel please do not hesitate to subscribe because you you are the one who makes this channel to be what it is whatever the, the channel is uh for it to be successful it's your subscription remember that this is our nasdaq 100 i hope you guys will use proper risk management and yeah let's push to let's look at our gold i think gold could also or is on the same uh remember i used to analyze yeah that's what happened yesterday that's what happened when you're expecting the price to push towards the upside the price can dis disappoint you as you can see on gold i was on the support diagonal support and i had this br brilliant uh let me show you something here i want to take you to my prediction to yesterday's prediction the price disappointed me gold moved 
towards and and what you call stopped me out as you can see when it broke this level just got uh the price hit my stop loss and yeah i lost man in life you lose some you win some so what happened is i saw this beautiful bullish rejection candlestick the pin bar i hope you can see before i had this uh bearish pin bar the price presented this bullish pin bar this one let me zoom in once again so you guys can be able to see the price presented this pin bar for me then i was like okay i can see the price is respecting my diagonal support but what happened boom the sellers came in and stalked me out and pushed towards the upside where the candlestick closed and it continued with that uh selling a movement as you can see the price pushed towards the downside ah man a loss it's a loss this trick this uh bearish uh pin bar candle really tricked me man and it's four hourly time frame remember i thought if i see this on four hourly time frame i even thought that the next candlestick that was about to open the price will cross my 21 ema remember the 21 ema i'm using it as a indicator that tells me or shows me that when the 21 ema moves above my price the market price i'm looking for the selling this is the example name i'm looking for the sales and the price as you can see when it's far from the moving average i don't sell anymore i have to wait and see if the price reach the 21 ema and when it's above the price move below i mean when the price is above the 21 ema when the ema is below i look for the buys as you can see the 21 ema was below we look for the buys we buy and now the the price was playing just above the 21 ema as it was about to reach i got or i witnessed this uh pin bar rejection candlestick and i thought the next candlestick we are pushing what happened boom but at least i had my stop loss so don't ever forget to place the stop loss every time when you place your orders ladies and gentlemen we are dealing with uh a demon price demon we are dealing with the market movers who will trigger uh, retail traders remember when it push or when they recognize or realize there's this there's more liquidity around this level or this area here they will just push the price boom and push it towards the upside again just to make sure that they collect liquidity before they do whatever they do uh, one thing i can tell you man this is gold the price is retested oh the level has been retested and we are about to see maybe the lower or the bearish movement this is for hourly time frame let me reset my chart and show you something show you something if you didn't recognize something or notice something so you can see that the price on the bigger time frame since well we've been looking out for or expecting the price to push uh, this uh, trend and now the price broke out of it that could expect something like this or we will continue with the consolidation we still have to remember that if the price doesn't make uh for example if the price doesn't make this type of uh trend the uptrend the price can still if doesn't make a uh, uptrend or downtrend remember we trade the trends or we are the trend follower we are the trend lines trader <laughs> trend lines traders if we don't have or 
the price doesn't present uptrend it present lower trend so there are three trends that we have to look out for when you look at our charts if we don't see this type of the trend we have to expect this uh, horizontal trend which is your consolidation and usually when the price consolidate like this man you're gonna lose all the money when you buy high i mean when you sell high and you expect the price to push towards the downside you expect you will be looking for the buying position the price will go you sold you expect to push your stop losses closer to the price the price closes like you it's a lot of work man you have to be on the screen all the time you have to look out you have to be like you want to see where the price is going but anyway this is gold man i want you guys to be aware of the price to be aware of or to look out for this uh this is my prediction eh? let me remove this um i'm predicting that the price could push towards the downside to reach this level to retest before we have it pushing towards our resistance i hope this makes sense i hope it does make sense to you guys ladies and gentlemen i really appreciate your time please do not forget to subscribe those who haven't subscribed and please follow us on uh social media uh the links are on the description down below and please those who uh those who are interested in communicating with us personally use our email which is trendlinestrader at gmail.com ladies and gentlemen may god bless i really want to say st uh, stay humble all the time and please please continue to motivate yourself keep yourself uh motivated so that you don't have to give up even if you uh the price uh goes against you motivate yourself and tell yourself that you know what that was not meant for you your time is coming my name is offense do not forget to subscribe and tap the notification button so that you can be notified for the future uploads ladies and gentlemen peace